All right then, guys. Hello. Today we're gonna to be doing another challenge today. And the, we're gonna be doing another Pornable.kr challenge today, and the challenge I'm gonna be doing today is gonna to be called Flag. So, with this challenge, oh, uh, they're giving us a website to I guess download a bin binary for the most part, and we're not supposed to I guess uh, uh, I guess and we're not supposed to connect to an SSH server for the most part. So right here we have my uh, thing already set. So I made just a special uh, directory for this. So what I'm gonna do is just wget this, wget to download this binary from this specific file, control C it, and then we just download it. So for the most part, this file is not executable yet because if we do dot flag, uh, flag, nothing happens, no permission. So we just need to give it permission. So chmod plus x, there's probably like different types of permissions, but it's the one I usually go with. Then after that, I just don't run flag. While we run flag, I get this little thing called I will malloc and string copy the flag there and take it. So I get that for the most part. The next thing I want to do is just check file to see what type of flag this is. So we do my flag, uh, file flag. We get it to executable, but uh, statically link and no section header for the most part. So that's something uh, I think I've seen for no section header for the most part and then like before I put it on like on the disassembler or something that just runs strings for the most part oh strings flag and then if you guys didn't know or if you guys are not aware what what I like what to look for for the most part how I knew that I was supposed to go this route for the most part is because I took a malware analysis class for the most part and uh while looking over at the strings going one by one, I found this this file is packed with the UPX executable packer. So looking this up, if you guys don't know what a packing is, uh packing a file. Uh wait, uh packing a file, what does pack file mean? It, that basically means a file is compressed. It's usually found in like a packed malware. <laughs> it's usually found in a malware. Uh, this is how I learned. I took a practical malware analysis class and I learned about packing, UPX packing specifically uh, by taking that class for the most part where like it says right here, well, like how I learned it was that it hides the code that the malware author writes. In this case, it hid the code from uh, from this because if we put it on like GDB for the most part, so if we just GDB flag, we see that uh, this as main nothing comes out like info functions this is going to list all the functions that this file create this file has info functions oh info function oh yeah there's like uh no functions i guess uh wait, wait uh start there's like really nothing yeah it's just there's really nothing in in this uh this binary to look at for the most part like everything's hidden so everything's packed and they packed it using a uh, upx as you guys saw against so all of your strings flag grep upx you see this file is packed with upx executable packer so we had to unpack this so usually how you do it is probably look if you're on kali you should probably look up uh upx kali linux it's usually just uh you could probably install it one of these probably like uh uh, there's different forms to install it. I mine already have oh, UPX uncompressed and compressed executable. It's like UPX. Oh, I think it's in most in most Linux machines. I think it's a universal packer. So, so I think what I can do is just I already have it. So I can just UPX. So I guess once you have it installed, you can probably download it from the actual from right here for the most part. Just click on this. It's taking a while to load. Go to uh. I guess their site, and then uh, download latest released, and then just uh, just download one of these. I guess I I would assume how you do it. I don't know how I had it. Mine already had it for the most part. So like UPX. So what I'll I guess what I'll do is just do UPX. Once you have it downloaded, you type UPX and then do dash D for decompressing. And then after that, you just want to name the file that you want to decompress, which is flag in my case. So I just type flag, and then after that, I unpacked it, and you see how there was a file says files. Uh, change size so if we do something like this was this like was this uh this is i don't know what number this is it went from uh uh three hundred thousand to what eight hundred thousand 
it went from size of 300 to what? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, it went from 300,000 to 800,000. So you see like the, the size of the file got bigger. And then if I think if you just write file flag and we see that it's not stripped anymore. See, like I says right here, not stripped. So that means uh, if we just do GDB flag and then we do this as main, we see all of this being set up. We can see all of this, uh, I guess all the disassemble code. And if we type info functions, we list all the functions that this uh, file has, which is a lot for the most part. But if we go back to uh, this as main, we see that there's a comment section right here written for flag. And it looks like the whatever's right here on flag is being saved to RDX. So what we could do for the most part is uh, set up a breakpoint. So we'll just do break star main plus, and then we want to stop it at where this flag is located. So we we'll just go right here, and then it'll just be at 32 plus 32. So we plus 32 star main plus 32. Press next, then we just do run. And then we see right here that it's currently at this step. It still hasn't saved it onto RDX. So we just have to keep a lookout for RDX right here. So if I just type simply NI for next instruction, we see that it moved on. And then that it should, I mean, it should be whatever it was that flag is saved onto RDX. And then we look closely at RDX, we get UPX. Sounds like, a, like it's a delivery service. So that's one way of getting the flag or getting a, that's one way of, I guess, oh, my bad. I was fucking clicking on my window. So that's one way of, like, uh, of getting of getting it. Also, another way I was reading on a write-up, you could just simply do x slash uh, 1s and then star. And then, the I guess, the, where the file is located. So over the function or where, wherever it saved in memory, which is in the comment section. So we see CX2070. If you just simply do this, you'll simply get it. Uh, I did it my way, which was just looking at RDX because you, you see right here, uh, whatever is saved right here, get saved to RDX. I just ran next instruction and I checked the RDX register and it looks like this is what hold it and see it matches it. So what you'll do is probably like just grab this and just like submit it as a flag. But since I'm not signed in currently, I don't think I could do that. So if I just uh, sign in auth, yeah, log in first, but like, once you log in and simply insert the flag, you should be able to get it. And yeah, this is a pretty easy challenge for the most part. Nothing that difficult. And it's, it's still part of the, if you go right here, it's still part of the, I guess, uh, toddler toddler bottle. We still haven't reached rookies yet or grotesque. Uh, well, maybe one day we'll probably reach right here hackers. But currently we're at toddler level. So anyway, yeah, that's about it for this challenge. I hope you guys see you guys in the next one. And yeah, that's about it. Peace.